TikTok star Walter Masterson attended a recent Trump rally in Ohio, and I want to share this with you, one, because it's incredibly entertaining, because the way that he trolled them was just, it was flawless, it was effortless. But on top of that, I think it's important that we watch this because it serves as a really important lesson, particularly for people newly involved in politics. You have to at least try to ground your political beliefs in some political theory, or if not that, then try to to come up with some consistent set of standards and core principles that you try to abide by. Because if you don't, if the totality of your politics is all just reactionary, then you may end up looking foolish like this. They don't give Trump the credit for no, getting the don't. vaccine out there no, and rushing it through the market, getting it in there, and just like greasing the skids, right? Correct. Yeah. Are you getting vaccinated? No. I have asthma. I'm at, I'm at risk. With that being said, it's my body, it's my choice. It's your but, body, your choice. But with that being said, my constitutional freedoms don't end where your political beliefs start, period. And end of story. What are you going to do about this whole abortion thing? It needs to be abolished. Abortion abolished. needs to be abolished? Yes. So on one hand, Donald Trump deserves credit for the COVID-19 vaccines, but on another hand, vaccines are bad and he's definitely not going to take the vaccine. Now, to me, at the beginning of the vaccine rollout, I thought it was actually important for Trump to get credit for the vaccine so that way vaccine-hesitant Republicans would be more likely to want to take it because if they think it came from Donald Trump, then they'll think that it's safer than what we already believe, right? But that's not necessarily the case. They seemingly hold contradictory view views simultaneously. Because if you think that Donald Trump is a trustworthy figure, and nobody should believe this, but if you think Trump is trustworthy, then wouldn't you think that the vaccine that he's promoting is safe and Trump, being the trustworthy figure that he is, wouldn't intentionally promote something that he knew would harm his supporters? Well, it doesn't matter. Because in their mind, they're following just reactionary opinions that they have, visceral responses that they have. Trump good, vaccines bad. Now, it's funny. The reason he cites as to why he won't get the vaccine is a bodily autonomy. Look, bodily autonomy is integral to liberty in America. And so we have to make sure that people are able to make decisions about their own health. But when asked about abortion, you saw how he flipped on a dime. So it's really frustrating to watch this because this is someone who very obviously doesn't really subscribe to any consistent set of principles. It's all reactionary. It's all just, okay, this person is good. This person's bad. Vaccines are bad. Trump's good. Abortion bad. And that's it. It's, it's scattershot. There's, there's no underlying, uh, moral, uh, beliefs. There's no underlying, uh, policy prescriptions that he believes would help people. It's, it's all just hot air. But he's not alone, because there was this individual as well. Even socialized medicine? Fuck no. Sorry for the language. But uh, so my philosophy is the government gets its hands on it, it's going to get screwed up. Yeah, and I, if the Democrats are the ones who have their hands on it, guess what? It's probably going to be worse. I think instead of but, the socialized medicine, we should build communities throughout our nation built on mutual cooperation, mutual aid. You know, this, I mean, listen, I had... Uh, a friend of ours in our community, he got sick, he got leukemia. We all pooled together and we made sure he saw the best doctors. So what's wrong with pooling our money together within the community to make sure we all see the best doctors? Well, they, uh, they think that the, pri the private sector has nothing, wants nothing to do with the general public. They don't want to waste a dollar. I mean, we always have to keep putting pressure on the private sector to take over where the government is going to fail. Yeah. Now, to be fair, that person didn't explicitly say that the socialized approach to healthcare described in a roundabout way by Walter was preferable. But I mean, still, you can see the contrast there. When you explain socialized healthcare to them in a way where you don't explicitly invoke socialism, they're more open to it. There's not this visceral response of fuck that when socialism is brought up. And of course, you know, this aversion to socialism from Republicans, it, it's fueled by ignorance and a fundamental misunderstanding of what socialism is in, in the first place. Because, I mean, there are a lot of programs in America already that can be characterized as socialism, Social Security being one of them, and it's a beloved program. But, you know, this really, it speaks to how easy it is to manipulate these people here. 
because all you have to do is invoke the correct buzzword at the right time and you could get them to believe anything, right? So if you wanted this individual, uh, I would argue, to support single-payer healthcare, well, you could say, did you hear that Nancy Pelosi said that single-payer healthcare is bad? Can you believe this? Millions of people are going to die because Nancy Pelosi said single-payer is bad. I'd argue that that person most like, likely would say, oh, well, that's terrible. Single-payer healthcare is great. Because in their mind, they're not necessarily weighing the pros and cons of a single-payer healthcare system. They're just thinking, well, Nancy Pelosi bad. And since Nancy Pelosi said something else is bad, that's a du double negative. It must be a positive. So I support single-payer. And again, this is why I say that you have to have a coherent theory to change. Subscribe to a consistent set of political beliefs. Otherwise, things like this can happen to you. You can be taken advantage of. You can, you know, create your entire political identity by buzzwords. And that's obviously terrible. Um, now, the next video, um, this is probably my favorite because... Walter takes it to the next level, and uh, he only got two people in in this part, but it gets so ridiculous, but again, it further proves the point that I'm trying to make here, because Animal Crossing is invoked. <laughs> Take a look. What do you think about George Soros and Nancy Pelosi designing the banking system for Animal Crossing? It's ridiculous. It shouldn't be done. Exactly. Thank you. What do you think about um, Nancy Pelosi and George Soros, how they created the banking system in Animal Crossing? Well, they're scumbags. <laughs> Quite exactly. clearly, they're scumbags, 100% absolutely. What do you think about the story that uh, Nancy Pelosi and George Soros designed the banking system in Animal Crossing? I would absolutely believe it. They've all been behind it, man. Animal Crossing needs to be liberated, I'm telling you. Liberate Animal Crossing. Liberate to... Animal Crossing, man. Liberate yeah. Animal Crossing! Whoa. Come on! Okay, so that last person definitely knew what Animal Crossing was and uh, probably knew that Walter was trolling. But overall, you see, you can ask them the most ridiculous things. They still answer the questions based on the visceral reaction that they, that they felt. Nancy Pelosi, bad. And it just goes to show you, again... If you wanted to manipulate these people, if you wanted to grift off of these folks, as many right-wingers do, it's so it's so simple. If you wanted them to support something like um, free college, all you have to do is use the correct buzzwords, and I think that you can get a large portion, if not most conservatives, to believe it. So say, say for example, uh, I want to convince my conservative cousin who is a moron to support a free public college. All I have to do is say, can you believe that these critical race theorists like Nancy Pelosi and Bernie Sanders and the squad all think that publicly funded college is a bad thing? And I think that you can easily dupe them into believing that you know, public college is good by invoking the correct buzzwords. Now, the issue is that long term, this is not a good strategy because I want people to believe that publicly funded education is a good thing, not because they think that bad people are against it. I want them, uh, or is it against it or for it? Or against it, yeah, yeah. Either way, uh, I want them to believe that free college is good because objectively speaking, this is the policy that would yield the best outcomes. I want them to believe in single payer, not because they think it's good only if Nancy Pelosi doesn't like it, but because it is objectively the good policy that would save lives. So after watching all three of these TikToks, uh, you know, what came to mind was this whole facts over feeling meme that is, you know, shared by people like Ben Shapiro. I believe he still has that pinned to his Twitter profile page. I mean, you conservatives are like the last people to talk about facts over feelings. What we just saw is all feelings over facts. To be a conservative is to be inherently reactionary and put emotion above everything else. Like your entire politics is driven by emotional responses to things that trigger them. Nancy Pelosi, critical race theory, socialism, and that's not good. So look, overall, uh, the lesson is that Republicans, Trump supporters, they don't stand for anything. And uh, I think that we have to capitalize on this weakness and educate them. And we need to bring them to our side because, you know, it's a beautiful thing if we could change these people's hearts and minds. 
But if there's not a lot to work with to begin with, if you're not having to, you know, um, debunk political theories that they subscribe to, then our, our job isn't going to be that difficult. It's just a matter of trying to find a way to market left-wing ideals to them uh, to get them to want to take the bait, and then we educate them. But I mean, either way, like, this is embarrassing. <laughs> Tremendous, 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 tremendous